Hello and welcome to Nowhere. My name is Trish and I am the creator behind Nowhere Novelties. Today we'll be doing another Starburst template cup. Um, I did one with the black and the rainbow before and this one is just so elegant and beautiful. Um, it's very hard to tell on camera but this is like a very light pink lace vinyl, printed vinyl with a gorgeous double ombre um, glitter base. If you're ready, let's drop in and shoot for the stars. This is a 20 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow Crafts. It's base painted white with um, like a burst of candy pink in the very center to create that double ombre. I'm going to be using Vortex and Chantilly. Vortex is from the Glitter Grind and Chantilly is from BG Olive. And Captivate from the Glitter Grind and 2S Shod, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, from um, Mr. Nola's Glitter. So I'm starting with my chunkier glitters. I'm concentrating this Vortex um, at the bottom and top rims and I'm going to add some to the very bottom of the cup as well and then I'm going to tilt my tumbler and give a little shake um, just to create more of like a waterfall effect but really I don't want a lot of this chunky glitter um, for like the ombre portion and then this is Captivate. I've used this so many times before. It looks gold in the bottle, but it's not actually gold. The, um, the glitter shards are translucent. Um, so they really just kind of like shimmer like an opal. I, I, it's so pretty. Um, now I'm using this rose gold, the 2S Shod um, from Mr. Nola's Glitter on the center pink portion, um, concentrating like a line on um, the center of the cup and then tilting up and down to create like a really soft blend. And now I'm going in with Chantilly and covering the um, white edges or the white ends of the cup um, over that, um, that vortex chunkier glitter. Once that is fully covered and I got a nice soft blend, um, I did go back in with a little more of that rose gold or that pink, um, just to make sure I have full coverage and a good blend. And then I'm rolling down my chunky glitter on a piece of parchment just to get everything smoothed down so that I don't have to worry about too many coats of epoxy to get everything smooth. I did coat this with um, polycrylic and was able to get away with just a single coat of epoxy. This is that gorgeous light pink, soft pink lace vinyl from uh, Banff Custom Creations. I already have my template, my Starburst template cut out on it. Um, I cut it to size using like a paper cutter and now I am taking off the, um, like the smaller, portions of the burst um, so that basically where these pieces of um, vinyl are missing the glitter the ombre is going to shine through. I debated weeding the larger sections um, for only a second but then decided against it because I didn't think that the um, like the lace pattern of the printed vinyl would translate if it was only on the smaller portions um, of the Starburst template. So now I am adding transfer tape so that I can easily get this transferred over to my cup. I squeegeed the, um, the back down and peeled up my backing sheet before I even started trying to lay it onto the cup so that none of those like smaller bits there in the center of the starburst were going to cause me any issues. I cut a small piece, probably like a half an inch off of the backing paper so that I had an anchor point. And then I started to line this up with the edging of my cup. Um, I did specifically cut out the starburst template so that um, it was 
almost exact for the height of the cup, but I lined it right with that top rim. And I did have to cut like the slightest bit off of the very bottom rim of the cup to make it um, just nice and clean instead of having some pieces like roll over that bottom edge because it creates wrinkles and I don't really like it. So now I am applying this like you would a full vinyl wrap. Um, I am taking my time so that the printed vinyl doesn't get wrinkled. As I come towards this uh, cent the center points right here, I am walking the backing off and just making sure that all of those teeny tiny little center points are um, off of the backing paper and anchored down onto the cup as I work the um, backing paper off. I am peeling up the transfer tape um, as I go just so I don't have any like resistance coming around to um, the seam portion of the cup. So now I have the cup ready for pinstriping. I'm going to go right in um, with pinstripes before applying any epoxy. But before I did, did that, I did cut off. I had like an eighth of an inch barely of um, overlap at the seam. So I did just cut that that little bit of overlap off to make sure that my points here in the back lined up perfectly. For the pin striping, I am using a deep ro rose gold um, and very, very skinny nail tape. Um, I got this in a big pack of colors off of Amazon. I'll have it linked in the description box below. Um, it is kind of hard to work with. It stretches. Um, so when you lay it down, you want to make sure you're not actively like pulling it because when you cut it um, at the base of the cup, it will actually spring back and then the piece will be too short. So make sure you keep that in mind. Once all of my um, pinstriping is applied, I applied one coat of epoxy um, to smooth everything. Um, and then I decided to go in with a um, rub on transfer from Dollar Tree, this little rose here in the center. And um, I didn't record that, but that's how I finished off this cup. I hope you guys like this one and give it a try. See y'all next time.